I want to have an Orville School of Pan Indian Studies. So you will be the tradition of Pan Indian. Because what you will be doing at this conference is I want to teach Panini to you and enable you to look at Panini the way Panini would have liked us to look at. Martin said that Panini uh, was like a computer. Panini was the computer because what he did could not have happened unless there was a computer that Panini was constantly instructing so he was two in one. His brain, there was all computers set to go. And you will see that to manage this grammar is impossible. You know, with the human brain, you have to have some kind of, and there comes the idea that we Indians, we are notorious for giving credits to some divine agency or the teacher to everything great that happens to us or everything great that we do, even though we did that. So it should be fun. The thing is, it's a vast ocean. I will carefully lead you to appreciating Panini by way of Panini. And then, after a certain point, you can go on your own to whatever you go to. So, right now, you are here to get some ideas about the Paninian school, Sharma's school of Panin. Because whatever I have done, in the last 40, 50 years, day and night, is what is strictly following the Munitraya, Panini Katyayan and Patanjali. Tirashtadhyayi is the grammar of the three sages. That's how it should be uh, looked at. And I do believe in uh, the authority of words, as the Paninians believe, but I do believe in the authority of Patanjali. So strictly following the Yatottara Muninam Pramanyam, there are three sages. Okay, so let's go proceed slowly. Forgive me, I'll be sitting here, um, but I sure like to just dance around the board and, you know, write things so that you can appreciate it much. You know, I have given you the outline. We'll be strictly following the outline. Because if we don't, we will not get anywhere. So we will have to limit, you know, I can I can just shoot my mouth, I can go talk, 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 forever, which is not good. So I will speak to you, and then you will have a window for asking your question. What is your question? What should it be? The first question that you should pose is, it's a two phase. One is, does this guy make any sense? And you should apply that kind of questions to everything. You read something, ask yourself two questions. A, does it make sense? Two, do you understand it? If you don't understand it, your first order of business is to understand that fully. 
So that will be the point. We will have a window here in the class where you will ask questions. And we'll try to come up with answers. You know, it doesn't have to be just me. But we have to control ourselves time-wise. We don't have much time. So we'll strictly be limiting ourselves to this thing. So, for example, we have the inaugural session, which we are in. And if you read what is in the window for the day, it's a single sentence. So we will be just focusing on that single section. Beginning with the developmental history of the Paninian school based on text and trends. So you must have read the history of the Paninian school. So when it comes to question and answer, I would like one of you to answer this question. How do you describe briefly the grammar of this language, the history? How do you see the tradition? What is that tradition? Simply using the word Paninian tradition doesn't make any sense to me. You must know what tradition is. People use all kinds of things. Our tradition, our tradition, our dharma. Try to understand what the word dharma means. Try to understand what the word tradition means. So any word that I utter, you must ask yourself the question whether you understand this word or not. And you will find millions of words. So, developmental history of the Paninian school. I would say that this tradition of Panini is a symbolic tradition. Patanjali in the Vyakarana Mahabhashya. By the way, let me tell you that I do not move a single step without Patanjali. This book that you have is all Patanjali. And you must have read this book or seen, which I have abandoned by now but it still is a great book. It's new. Nothing like this has happened in the literature. The first edition was published in 1987, written in India at Varanasi in six months. There were so many loopholes, there were so many uh, faults, there were so many missing links, etc. Your book goes back to this book and completes those gaps and where it does the best way. I'll explain to you when we come to that section. All our discussions today except for a few editorial notes, will be from the Paspashanika of the Mahabhashya. So let me tell you what the Ashtadhyayi is. Ashtadhyayi is a Vyakarana. What is a Vyakarana? What is Vyakriyante Shabda? Vyakri. What is the meaning of Vyakri? analyze, derive, but you shouldn't stop there, you should also move. Patanjali says, Shabda Pramanaka Vayam Yachabda Ahata Dasmakam Pramanyam. Ham Shabda Ko Pramana Mante, we consider the word as our authority. Whatever the word says is our authority. Yachabda Ahata Dasmakam Pramanyam. What is that Shabda? How do, you, how do you translate Shabda? 
word is a misnomer. Yes, well, that you are you are moving one step ahead of me. You know, charity na sasna langul ka kuthul bishani nam samprateo bhavati. Yes. Is the word dhoni? Because he uses ucharitena. So, is the ucharita shabda or the dhoni? Shabda? No, that's dhoni. Dhoni is not capable of expressing any meaning. Because there is a sequence that we consider in the formation of the words by means of dhoni. And by the time you go to the second or the third, the, the meaning, uh, if there is any meaning of the second, first and second, that meaning is lost. So no, I, a single unit of thought which has been uh, uttered with a sequence of meaningful sounds, it must give you a meaning. But Vyakarana doesn't consider any such thing of meaning. What is Vyakarana? Vyakarana is limited to lips to ear. The ear is the ear of the listener. The lips are the lips of the speaker. What forms the basis of the utterance is that you have the Vaikhari. But all told, at the end, there is a Shabda that comes and sits on your brains, on your mind, which is called Buddhya Rura Shabda. I'm not going to get how the word becomes Buddhya Rura. That's not the subject matter of Vyakara. The dhoni, which is uttered, and when it hits the outer ear of the listener, and then the listener takes it over. In other words, the buddhi of the speaker and the buddhi of the listener is on a par at the time when the communication is happening. Otherwise, it's useless. It won't be received by the ear of the listener the communication will not be possible. So, buddhya rudha shabda, when it becomes dhonya rudha, when it becomes expressed, it hits the outer ear of the, of the shrota, and then his pratibha, whatever way you define, because that's not the concern of a grammarian. I am clearly defining the extent of Vyakarana, because at this point we are dealing with Vyakarana, nothing else. So then you get the Pratibha, Sphota, so Sphota and Pratibha, that is not us. We are not going to Bhartrihari now. We are strictly limited to Vyakarana. So Vyakarana, what is Vyakarana? Is a body of Sutra. Who knows any Sanskrit or even a little Sanskrit? Those people are our friends. See, because if you know Sanskrit, if you have studied Panini, I'm sure you must be carrying a lot of baggage with you. I don't want you to carry the baggage and come and study Panini with me. We want to start with this clean slate. This is how we want to do it. So anyway, it's a body of sutra. What we know as the most famous body of sutras, which our tradition has studied right from the beginning of the Sutrakara Panini. When, when did that happen? What was the time of Panini? See, because when they talk about the history, they talk about the dates. What? Can I have a comment? 
See, I am not a social scientist. That's good. Student, you will enjoy it. Whatever I have studied, I have studied on my own. Whatever book I study. Yeah. Whatever book I study, I have to study on my own. Whatever book I study, it started with saying not how Sultan Shah. Yes. And you have not said a word about Sultan Shah. That's what we are going to be doing.